hold on for a sec for me. All right, sometimes it's important to see this view to see what your body shape's doing. All right, off you go, have a hit. Yep, okay. Now that's probably the shot that I need to see to see what was actually happening. So just take your set up again. Back swing back and forward. All right, that was a better hit, wasn't it? Okay, so let's have a look at that because there was a significant difference between how the body worked between those two just then. And it's actually good to see because it, you know, you can actually highlight what's actually happened there. Jekyll and Hyde. All right, so 121, 122, open save and you'll start to see what I'm what I just saw just then and why there's an inconsistency with the shot and then we're going to give you a drill to work on to make that work all right, so let's just get clear of all that so we looked at the review and it looked okay all right didn't look like there was yeah. too much there that other than the arm yeah, lift kind of thing yeah, yeah that's fine all right but the big thing is here is if we look at viewport a and we take our backswing back there's one little motion here that kind of really stands out and it's you'll see that difference Snap between the wrist huh? no no watch all right Hip slide. look at that body angle yeah all right there the hips slid out yeah body angle's gone this way mm -hmm. all right Reverse so now we move we now we move into viewport b and what you'll notice straight away is that angle is there but it's actually not as severe mm. yeah yep. so now all of a sudden you can actually turn through this ball better and stay on the line okay whereas this one here i reckon there'll be a good chance that there'll be a slight reverse pivot there it is there yeah and then that's why you get flippy through the golf ball yeah. Yeah. so it all comes from that initial part of the takeaway where we take our setup here and we work back mm, there see that hip sets up and the shoulder dips yeah. now we're into that position there and we're all in to, in sorts of trouble of so slide. yep okay. so i'm going to give you a drill where we're going to do a, a little bit of static stuff mm -hmm. uh, to work on that to try and give you a, a, an understanding and a feeling of what the body should feel like yeah. going into that and then we'll go from there okay. michael yeah. get you to come just this way for two secs okay so the drill i'm going to get you to do can i just borrow two balls off here for two secs all right this is my drill right yeah this is your drill all right just get you to come this way a little bit so you don't block the camera too much because you, then you'll be able to see it. You're going to put two balls down on the ground, all right? One like that, one like that. Okay, now this is a really good turning drill. What you're going to do is you're going to put a ball there and then you're going to set a stick over the top of the two balls like this, all right? So when you look down your target line eye, you'll be able to see the golf ball underneath this stick and the golf ball under that stick, all right? Now from there, what I want you to do is you're gonna set your shoulders into this motion. Now it's important that you still understand that your hip needs to rotate, okay? But in your case, what will happen is, is as you take your backswing back, this line will shift and not be on top of those golf balls anymore, all right? But then um, you're gonna get there and you're gonna try and turn your shoulders and try not turn your hips. So you still need to let your hips set round from doing that motion, but then trying to keep this centered on your body Understood. there yep. and then keeping the balls when you look back down on your target that it's still centered here right. so yours is quite a severe motion in the sense of over when you take your backswing we don't want that mm. yeah. to happen Am I doing the same thing? no yours is different right. we want you to do yeah. just this initial motion just to get the feeling of yeah. of doing that the more that you can get used to doing that feeling and then letting the hips set round, the better you're going to get at that, all right? Want, so I want the shoulders to take it around. Don't your I? shoulders want to be taken around. So take your setup on there. One, two, put that into your belt. Good. Put that across the top of your shoulders there. All right, now just keep that there into your belt buckle. So if you need to get a little bit further forward, come yeah. a bit further forward, keep coming, keep coming, okay? So you can see that on top of the belt there. Now big thing is is don't let this shoulder go down because that's what sets this hip out what? all right i want this shoulder to rotate round keep okay. yourself high okay. all right so i want you to feel like you're a little yeah, bit taller I'm, I'm dropping yeah you're right. dropping down and yeah. see how as soon as you drop down that pops out 
All right, I want you to feel like that shoulder comes around here. Just relax, relax, relax. There. Okay. All right, now again, back into your startup. There and round, good, and again. There and round. Now see that there sets this hip back? Yeah. Doesn't set this hip out, mm -hmm. yeah? That's what I need you to look like, or what I need you to practice and I'll need you to feel to try and change the way that you look in your backswing. All right, but that's not gonna be where we translate to a golf swing, it's gonna be different, but it's gonna translate the motion. It's gonna translate the motion, but it's also, that's what you need to start to try and feel with your body yeah. when you're actually making that motion. You don't want to be sliding out and seeing this stick yeah. going this way and this shoulder going under. I want you to feel like you're staying neutral and you've pivoted your hips, you've pivoted your shoulders, you're staying a lot taller. But now when you look at that golf ball, it hasn't looked like this stick has shifted yeah. this way over the golf ball. Make sense? Yep. All right, that's what I want you to work on. And then I want you to try and translate that into your golf swing. All right. All right. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, check me out on Facebook and check out my webpage which is coming soon, ndgolf.com.au.